In today's video, we will talk about what is TR band or transradial band, its purpose, application guidelines, and post procedure monitoring. The TR band is a transparent band and pressure balloon that enables a reportedly unobstructed visualization and monitoring of radial artery compression. The purpose of a TR band is to assist hemostasis of the radial artery after a transradial procedure. Upon completion of procedure, we draw introducer sheath about 2 to 3 cm. Make sure the site is cleaned with sterile saline and dry it completely before the band is placed on the wrist. Apply the TR band compression device by aligning the marker which is located on the compression balloon proximal to the puncture site. Make sure the radial artery insertion site is 3 or more cm proximal to the wrist crease. If the insertion site and the bend are too close to the wrist, it may slip. Fix the strap on the wrist with the adjustable fastener. Slowly inject 15 to 18 ml of air while removing sheath. Air should be fully inserted when the sheath is completely removed. Then slowly withdraw air back out via the syringe, 1 cc at a time until the operator observes for blood leaking out from the puncture site. Confirm radial pulse and evaluate radial artery patency. You may also use pulse oximeter to read oxygen saturation. Compress the ulnar artery at the level of the wrist and observe the behavior of the waveform. Keep the plunger in the place with your thumb when inflating or deflating the TR band. Releasing the plunger will cause air to expel out of the band too quickly. Remember to keep the syringe for later deflation. Post-procedure monitoring of TR band are no blood pressure readings, lab draws or IV access in the procedure arm for about 24 hours. Limit movement in the affected arm for 6 hours post-procedure. If needed, place wrist on arm board to restrict movement. Monitor excess side and extremity distal to the puncture wound every 15 minutes until the TR band removed. Then follow diagnostic interventional orders. Assess for absence of ulnar pulse, capillary refill, more than 3 seconds, cyanosis, numbness or pain in affected extremity. If present, notify doctor immediately. If bleeding or hematoma occurs, immediately apply adequate pressure to achieve hemostasis and notify doctor.